Hello, I'm Rachel Fogel. I am Alter Fogel. Of Busy Bits. Busy Bits is a patented new construction toy with potential to become a world leader in the construction toy market. <laughs> Hello, Busy Bits, can I help you? Yes, I just bought the Busy Bits and I'm afraid I think you're missing a warning on the box. And um, if you look carefully enough, you'll see that all appropriate toy testing has been done and it's safe. Warning still missing. Addictive. Our toy is exceptionally enjoyable and fun to play with. Busy bits, guaranteed to keep the children busy. It's a playful pitch from Rachel and Alter, who are looking for £80,000 in return for a 10% stake in their company. Deborah Meaden wants to find out more about how Busy Bits was born. It looks really colourful, it looks fantastic actually. You've invented them? On our patents, it's, we're both written as the inventors, but Alta actually worked out the system. OK. I say this slightly tongue-in-cheek. <laughs> Who's your biggest competitor? Lego is the biggest construction toy on the market, way above anything else. I would say they probably, I don't know, about 75% probably of all construction toys is Lego, or at least 75%. Second biggest toy company in the world, eh? Oh, are they right? Yeah, I would say that if you've got 15 pieces of Lego, you're very limited to what you can create with it. If you've got 15 pieces of Busy Bit, there are probably quite a few recognisable models that you could make with it. Busy Bits certainly seems to have brought out Peter Jones's inner child. Over 20 years spent working with children, as well as the small matter of having 12 of their own, has given Rachel and Alter an intuitive grasp of their potential customers. But Deborah Meaden wants to bring the conversation back around to business. How much does a box sell for? I sell this particular box for £25. This cost me to produce £8. If I sell it wholesale, I sell it for £14. How much of this have you got in stock? I have in stock roughly about 1,000 boxes. And how many have you sold I have totally from the day you started? Most probably about 700. What I don't understand is why you haven't sold more. If you've got a product that you know is fantastic, if you've got 1,000 boxes, why you wouldn't actually go out and sell them? We send it out to a lot of people or potential buyers and we ask them, tell me, what do you think of the product? Yep. And they wrote us back, we think it is a great product, and this is how far we went. We didn't, I didn't go further to this. So company. why didn't you say, we've well, got it now, it's patented, how many do you want? Because I want to come up with a bit, a bit a bigger range. Why? Because we've seen from feedback that that's what, that's what, that's what will, will do better for us. Duncan Bannatine's irritated by Rachel and Alter's reluctance to bring their product to market in its current form. And given their lack of sales, fellow dragon Kelly Hoppen wants to know just how much of a financial sacrifice they've had to make to keep the business afloat. How much money have you actually invested in this? About £130,000. Wow. My goodness. That is a lot of money. I would go and set up a stall in a market down Columbia Road or do something like that. You've got something big there. I can see any child going into a nursery or playroom and sitting down and wanting to play that. It looks great. The problem is it's not selling. It's not a viable um, proposition for me to invest, so I'm out, but good luck with it. I fully disagree with Kelly and Peter Jones. I'm the truthful dragon. and I'm going to tell you the truth. I wrote down one word when I opened it and started using it. And the word I wrote down was rubbish. And you should stop spending your money on it. You've spent too much on it, you can end up with nothing. And I'm out. I disagree with Duncan. I actually, I don't think it's rubbish at all. In fact, I think it's very clever. I urge you, spend no more money, make no more changes, and go and sell the remaining stock you have. I see no upside and I see a lot of risk in you being so committed to making this work that you're not thinking straight. I can only offer you advice and I can't offer you my money today. So I'm afraid I won't be investing. 
and I'm out. Okay. Thank you. Despite enthusiasm for their product, Rachel and Alter's shortage of sales and the cutthroat nature of the market in which they've chosen to compete mean they walk away from the den with nothing, leaving the dragons to continue heatedly debating the merits of busy bits. The truth dragon called it rubbish. It's two bits of plastic like that with this little connector on here and you can't really find anything to connect it to. It's complete and utter rubbish. You've got to have something in here to be able to play it. That's what your boxes? issue. <laughs>